Tony Don. Tony Don. That's denied Don, my boy. Super slept on team. Like, on I, my team, yeah. Yeah, right I mean, now. Uh, winner's quarters. You obviously see that we're doing ah, that's something wild. right. We're already out here in winner's quarters. But yeah, Mario, Ness, two incredible doubles characters. Their move, their move sets aid for a lot of team combos. They can get those hits in. Nets has that back row for that guaranteed kill. Mario just got that up smash. So they should have no problem tacking on damage and finishing their food. Definitely. It's going to be a little harder for Kool-Aid. And uh, I know Kool-Aid's probably one of the best. He's like a top five team player in Smash 4. Oh, yeah. In my, in my opinion. But... Uh, and Entarbs not looking too shabby himself, so we're gonna see how this works out. Entarbs, uh, I agree 1,020% with the Corn pick. Uh, Corn doing well against both of these characters. Um, Corn's your suit actually sound really good. Uh, a lot of Corn's hitboxes send them upward, right. so Kool Aid can get that quick up B, yeah. getting these quick stocks. And right now, you can see that they're controlling most of the pace of the game right now. Because that's that's the most important thing you want, right? When you're teaming with this your suit, the whole game plan kind of revolves around her. Her moves can't really aid with that much horizontal knockback, but she can finish yeah. her food as you saw right there. And I think Corn's uh, vertical knockback on her moves. It's, it's really good for assisting that ladder combo, any stray hits, and Kool-Aid's awareness is, is top-notch. I don't think you're going to find a better a better play, team player in the business that has that kind of awareness. Exactly, and Kool-Aid and MTAR are no stranger to uh, teaming with each other. Mm. Um, I've seen them team with a decent amount of events, and it's nice to see, like, you can see uh, how well they really do work together. Yeah, I can see that right now. They're, they're not tripping over each other. Their positioning says, he just saved him and took his life. He's like, no, not you. I take the life. Don got it right the second time, getting the up smash <laughs> on Kool-Aid. Um, and I I feel like as I was watching uh, these two play their last set, uh, Kool-Aid's and Entarp, and how well Entarp's is good at surviving. He only has 79% on his first stock. He's got the most, I mean, most, he's been trying to avoid Tony, and he's I like how he's been singling him out because Corrin gives Ness a hell of a hard time. And he's also just retreating back. He's not overextending too much. He's not getting too antsy with that pin. And Kool-Aid, I love that he's hanging out towards the edge of the stage. You know, Zero Suit in the skirmish in the middle of the stage is not where she wants to be. By being on the edge, he can catch those stray hits, and he can just avoid. So it seems like survivability is the name of the game here. Don had a really good idea for going with that fair for that back throw, but I think that was really good on Entarp DIing up, so Don couldn't connect anything with that. Ooh, okay, getting that pin right now. And now it's just looking like a complete massacre from the yeah. red team. Entarps has been putting in that work. Just surviving, he's still on this very first stock. Kool-Aid, definitely the aggressor here. You see Entarps, his entire set has just been playing back with these disjoints and doing such a good job. Yeah, they got this uh, the stock from Kool-Aid, which is good on their end, but again, Look at Entarps. <laughs> yeah, he, he got stocks to share right now. They gotta do something about it. And they, and they know Entarps is very, very aware of the, the kill options on the table for this team. He doesn't want to jump too much because that Ness up air can catch. He doesn't exactly. want to catch Don's up smash. He doesn't want exactly. to get back. He's staying at a very safe distance while still being able to provide support to his teammate. Exactly. You know exactly what he wants to be doing. And he's doing such an amazing job. That was a little... Uh, wow. I mean, it worked. He's, yeah. Kool-Aid was still handling Don. So that way he wasn't able to get hit there. So That was probably the most dangerous thing he's done the entire time. <laughs> I mean, he can afford it. He's got three stocks. Exactly. Man's and riding high. There we go. <laughs> and this is looking rough for blue team. As long as they play this right, yeah, they got one stock from Don, and it's going to look pretty solid yeah. right here. Okay, so this is super scary. Not only do you have Ness's worst matchup, but you also have a character that can catch him in the air whenever he's air dodging. Exactly. So yeah, like Entarps, you see here, he's covering the landing beautifully with those up tilts while Kool-Aid is trying to uh, take the aerial offensive, which is what they should be doing, because honestly, Zero's is better in the air. Exactly. Yeah. And with Entarps having all these giant hitboxes that are just covering the ground, and Zero Suit has the what speed. Was that? Collision collided with the stage. That He's was dead. Okay. All right. We'll We're take seeing it. signs of life right now. In no way is it like really, really doable. But I've seen Tony do some crazy things. Oh. And right. that's gonna take. It. I think that was back air. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't have to stress there either because not only did he have Entarps there to extend the back air hitbox, but he was just able to clear him out immediately. Didn't have to worry about anything. That was a and Entarps wasn't at like any dangerous percent where he would have like exploded for that back air. Yeah, they definitely weren't playing um, nervous whatsoever. They yeah. understood that they had that game. They just had to do what they do, get it done. Super, super strong. You can see the confidence too. Like you, normally, a lot of mid to low level players start panicking when they're in that scenario. When okay, we have to finish this guy's last stock right here. But Kool Aid and Entarps, no, they don't have to work. They have the better characters. They have the advantage. They can space them out. It's up to Tony to really target switch and just collect that kill. So if they don't freak out and lock him down on that platform, that's going to be really good. Um, Don going Diddy, this is 
Okay. Odd. I, I like this pick personally. Yes. I've seen uh, Blazing Pasta and Kojam, two players from Tri-State Region, okay. uh, play this team before. What I think Dawn is just looking to make it more accessible for Tony to get these kills. Diddy's throws have incredible uh, setups for it. That's his up air. Oh, like, yeah. Up throw is all he'll need. So, and I think he wants to play a little bit safer. He wants those quicker aerials with less commitment. So he can tack on more damage without risking him or his teammate's socks. Yeah, I definitely do agree there. Um, Diddy Kong, especially for these two matchups, sound like a really, really good idea. However, um, me personally, I'm a character loyalist, and I do, like his Mario definitely is his best character. I don't know if uh, if he's dead. Holy! Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know if Don Kong is able to pull it out here. Yeah, uh, definitely, we don't even need to worry about that if, if Ness is gonna be dying in such early percent. The thing I'm, I'm worried about right now is that Don is setting up for Banana in a kind of a team scenario, and Ness has not the greatest. Uh, time when he's kind of getting sandwiched by two characters with uh, big legs and big swords. So, I, feel it, I don't know. They're kind of isolating him. And Don, Don is busy trying to set up his own little stage control. But my guy, there's two people. You're yeah. playing teams. I definitely was going to say that uh, previously. I think Don needs to be helping uh, Tony. He hasn't had many chances to stay on stage. What just happened? He almost got two <laughs> easy kills, let me tell you. Oh my lord. Yeah, that, that's going uh, <laughs> to be quite finicky in teams. Red team still seem to control. It is even right now, though. Ooh, and as I say that, uh, that first stock is going to be taken off with Kool-Aid and the pin Double. right there to catch uh, both of them. Great, he could have gotten that two-for-one special right there. Yeah, that, that was really good awareness by Entar. Right now, Red Team's still having a pretty good lead. Um, two stocks, zero percent. They, uh, Blue Team needs to fix something fast. I do agree with this Diddy pick, mm -hmm. but I don't think um, Don was much of the issue. I think that Ness's disadvantage against these characters is just really, Yeah, he really needs to tough. save his boy. That's, that's Ness, when he's in trouble, there's, once he has no jump, there's really not much he can do other than just pray. Exactly. Put the controller out and pray. And when, with Don, he needs to be in there. Diddy can help assist a ton with Ness's disadvantage state, but if he's gonna be staying on the other side of the stage, yes, he's retaining his stocks, but Tony's just taking a beating right now. Well, Tony was given the beating right there to yeah, Kool-Aid yeah, and Antarctica, sure. doing so much damage. And right now, as long as Tony can stay um, alive, he's doing a really well, well aggressive game right now. They just need to secure these stocks, and this might be a little closer. Ness at the ledge is pretty scary to deal with at yeah, this point. That know. should be a down throw. Okay, uh, trying to get that right there. I like it. Took maybe a little bit too much time to set up for that right there, but I like the yep. idea. Oh, okay, I he just did it. it. I was waiting just for it. Just step on him with the heels, dude. I was, I was hoping, I was hoping Kool-Aid was going to go for that. And Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid's a monster, oh, no. man. I don't know if he's jump. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, That's it. I don't know where his jump went. I thought he had it. Guess not. I don't know why Don just fist bumped Tony. Maybe it was just like to say, uh, all right, we still got this. Yeah, it's, it, everything's all right, man. Um, that was a quick throw. Um, but are they unplugging? Yeah, they are. Okay, I was like, is it busy for Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it is. Okay. How did he die there? Up air? Gotcha. He got stage spike, and then... Entarps' doubles awareness is it's, it's so it. good. I'm, I'm, this is the first time I've ever seen him play, and I'm already really? incredibly impressed by his doubles prowess. Uh, so it's, it's really good. Entarps' little resume, he used to be um, New England PR with Solo Falcon. Mm. He gave up the Falcon just because of how tough it is good and choice. disadvantage sometimes. <laughs> and he switched to mainly DLC when it comes down to Corrin. Um, Cloud and Bayo, he mainly plays Cloud and um, Corrin. I haven't seen him pick the Bayo in a while. Yeah, but, I know. Um, I've seen a few PR graphics with the Bayo on it. I'm also aware of, uh, of his character pool and yeah. how diverse it is. Uh, I, I definitely agree, especially in teams too. Falcon, not the the, the best in teams, to, yeah. to, 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 to put it bluntly. He definitely picked up way better characters for doubles and singles. Um, and you can see you know, how good of a player he is in the double scenario. <laughs> Behave yourself, all right?